Well, he got his unlikely split. Exit polling suggests he actually managed to win women. Yeah. And he's doing better and better with young minorities, so long as they're allowed to vote. He apparently split non-white voters under 50. Although the numbers always come out skewed because young people of color are not voting at the same frequency as young white people are. You know, so... She wins old people. Doesn't matter what color they are, or what their religion is, or anything. She wins old people. But if 80% of the people that are black that are voting are over 50, then she'll win 75% because they're all old. Not because she does particularly well with with, with people of color, but because young young people of color aren't voting. Or at least not at the same levels. I don't think it really changes anything, though. I mean, it suggests he got high turnout. He was able to overwhelm. But the explanation could very well be that he was piggybacking on Trump voters. Who sees Sanders as their second choice? You can vote twice in these open primaries. Now, I'm all for open primaries, but I really think you should only be able to vote for one party. Or one candidate, at the least. You'll note that you want all the southern counties, which are bordering Kentucky. As a better predictor of what's coming, he's not going to lose Kentucky or West Virginia because of minorities. He's going to lose white men in these states, as he did in Tennessee and the other states in the immediate vicinity. But the fact that his numbers are improving with minorities, at least in the north, and again, I, I would have loved to see some actual useful data out of New York and Pennsylvania. But, um... They're improving in India, like in Indiana of all places. Um, it's promising. Should he run outside the party? It's just um, a little bit more evidence that um, he could win a three-party race.